Recording in progress. Relaxing in Shavasana, time for the class. Legs apart comfortably, arms apart, palms turned up, shoulders away from the ears and chin towards the chest. Find yourself a comfortable position and begin to relax the body mentally. Scan the body from toes to the head. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. <clears throat> Relax the neck, head and the face. Watch your thoughts. Let go in the mind by connecting with the breath. Try to inhale as long as you can and exhale completely. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. Abdomen expands, the whole body expands as you inhale. And as you exhale, the body shrinks down. Take three more conscious deep breaths. Slowly bring the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms with the head and give a good stretch to the body. Stretch the body, release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side and place it up. Let's turn the prayer. Sit up straight, hands on the knees and chin mudra, keep the eyes closed. Gajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapita Jango Palisara Bakshikam Umasutam Shokavanashikaranam Namami Vigneshwara Bhata Pankajam Shadananam Kumkumarakta Varnam Mahamatim Devimayura Vahanam Rutrasya Sunam Sulisenyanatam Uham Sadaham Sharanam Rupate Iya Kundendu Dushar Haratabra Yashi Prabhastra Vita Yavina Pradandamanitikara Yashweta Padmasana Ya Brahma Chati Shankara Prabhati Vir Deva Sada Pujita Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati Nishesh Jagya Baha Om Namashivaya Guru Ve Satchitananda Murta E Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Shri Shivananda Te Namaha Shri Vishnu Devananda Te Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangale Shive Sarvarth Sadike Sharanye Trimbake Kauri Narayani Namostate Narayani Namostate Om Shanti 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 Om Chaya, let's get ready for the class. Prepare for the Kapalabhati practice, a comfortable sitting position. Put the hands on the knees in chain mudra. Keep the back straight, shoulders roll back. Take a breath, inhale deeply into the abdomen. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. The first round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one joe, 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 one Jo, 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 Inhale three quarters of your lungs, hold the breath gently, focus at the third eye center. Slowly with control, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Get ready for the next round of Kapalabhati. Sit up straight, focus on the abdomen. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 Exhale, relax, take two normal breaths. Relax the body. And now get ready to hold the breath. Focus at the third eye center, keep the back straight and relax the body. Inhale three quarters of your lungs, very gently, softly, hold the breath. Any discomfort, you may release the breath anytime and take normal breaths. With control, exhale. 
Take a deep breath in here. Exhale. If you have to, please stretch the legs and relax the body. Shake out the legs. <coughs> Get ready for the alternate nostril breathing. Anulong vilom practice. We cross the legs in a comfortable position. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chen Mudra. Both the hands should be on the knees. So bend the elbows and keep the body relaxed through both the nostrils. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Block the right nostril with your right thumb. Left inhale. Om um, one, om um, two, om um, three, om um, four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Breathe consciously while you do the practice. Make your inhalations long. And of course, exhalations are longer. Right exhale. Om um, one, om um, two, om um, three, om um, four, om um, five, om um, six, om um, seven, om um, eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Gently hold, close the nostrils. Lift, exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, lift on one, on two, on three, four. Retain the breath gently, close the nostrils. The right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, Focus at the third eye center. Keep the shoulders in one straight line. You need to move the right shoulder away from the right ear. Sit equally on the serene bones. Keep the chest open. Lift exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath. Keep the back straight, spine lifted up. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold gently. Lift exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, lift on one, on two, on three, on four, right in the breath. Watch your body. Watch the mind. Right exhale. On one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right. On one, on two, on three, four, hold. Close the nostrils. Lift exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, lift on one, on two, three, on four, gently hold. Relax the face, soften the eyes and the forehead. Right, exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils.
Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, retain the last round. Come alert in the body, in the mind. <clears throat> Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Last breath retention. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down, flex the body, put the hands on the knees with chin mudra. Keep the eyes closed and gentle breathing, slow breathing. Please stretch the legs, relax your body in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock the fingers and stretch your arms over the head. Stretch the toes forward and pull the toes in, push the heels out and press the back down. Stay in the stretch, stay. Release the stretch, bend the knees, hug the knees to the chest and gently rock the body side to side. Knees to the right, turn the head to the left. And then back to the center, knees to the left, head to the right. Do this a couple of times. And now bring the hands to the back of the thighs, rock the body forward and backwards. Swing the buttocks up. Please stand up. Let's get ready for sun salutation, the first round. Feet together, inhale. As you exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears and push the buttocks forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Place the hands by the side of the feet. You may bend the knees if the hands don't reach down. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, right knee down, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Abdomen tucked in, shoulders right on top of the wrists. Exhale, knees down, buttocks up, chest between the hands, forehead or chin on the mat. Inhale, slide forward, arch back into cobra, relax the shoulders down. Exhale, tuck the toes in, lift the buttocks up and look to the toes. Inhale, the right leg forward. Left knee down, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Do lesser in the first two rounds, let the body open up. Inhale and exhale, join the hands to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears and push the buttocks forward, look up. Exhale, lengthen the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. 
Next round, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Be fully aware of your postures. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest round the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, lengthen the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, stand the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, relax. Third round, stretching a little more than the previous two rounds. Inhale and exhale, join the hands in prayer position to the chest. Inhale, lengthen your arms up and arch back. Keep the knees straight and elbows straight. Exhale, lengthen the body forward and reach down. Hands and feet in one straight line. Inhale, the right leg back a little more away than before. Push the right knee more back, left knee on top of the ankle. Tuck the right toes in, take the left leg back, plank pose, abdomen pulled in. Neck is relaxed, exhale, knees, chest and the forehead of chin down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks, look at the toes, push the heels down, press the hands down, keep the fingers separated to get a good grip of the mat. Inhale, bring the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, move the left leg more back and look up. As you exhale, bring the left leg forward, shift the body weight forward, keep the toes separated, fingertips or the hands pressing down. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Elbow straight, knees straight. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, lengthen your arms up along the ears and push the buttocks forward. Exhale, lengthen the body forward. Be fully aware of the body and come down, place the hands down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way. Look up, stay here and breathe. <clears throat> Now tuck the left toes in and take the right leg back, hold the plank pose. Keep your back like a tabletop. So it's not inverted V. Do not lift the buttocks up. Slowly as you exhale, bring the knees down, chest between the hands, forehead to chin down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back into cobra, shoulders away from the ears, lower abdomen rests down. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your body, look to the toes and stay here, breathe. Push the heels down. Do not work forward. Keep breathing. Elbows straight, knees straight, but don't block the elbows and the knees. Abdomen pulled in, tailbone lifted up. Shoulders are away from the ears and pushing the chest down. Keep the head in line with the upper arms. And the next inhalation, bring the left leg forward, left foot between the hands. Move the right knee just a little more away, hold and breathe. Don't lean the body to the right side. Keep the body centered. Breathe. On the exhalation, bring the right leg forward and stay in the forward bend. If you are not comfortable, you can keep the knees bent, bring the chest close to the thighs and forehead close to the knees or the shins. Body weight is shifted forward. Unless you press the fingertips or the hands down, you don't get the real effect of the posture. Inhale, stretch your body forward, reach up, pull up with the waist and then push the buttocks forward. Look up to the hands, head and arms in line. 
Exhale, release. Fourth round at normal pace. Inhale and exhale. Join the hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way. Look up. Hold the breath. Left leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, pound to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, reach up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back as much as possible. Hold the breath, lift leg back. Keep the back like a tabletop. Don't lift the buttocks up. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back, cobra, relax the body. Exhale, inverted V, press down and lift the energy up. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Push the left knee more back and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release, left side. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward and look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch the body forward, stretch up an arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Last round, the right side, inhale. And exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, lengthen up and arch back. Exhale, lengthen forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg as far back as you can. Hold the breath, lift leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V, push the heels down, keep the tailbone lifted up and push the chest down, do not squeeze the shoulders towards the ears. Inhale, the right leg forward and look up. Push the left knee more back. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Last time on the left side. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale. Stretch the body forward and reach up. Push the buttocks forward, look up. And exhale, release. Separate the legs apart. Let's take a breather. Relax the body. So more you stretch in sun salutation practice, better is the remaining practice. Always do the sun salutation very mindfully, feeling the stretch in every part of your body. Slowly sit down and lie down. Take rest in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart.
when the breath is slowed down, watch the body mentally from toes to the head. Release all the tightness from the body and let go completely. Take a deep breath, slide the legs together, interlock the fingers and stretch the arms up. Give a nice stretch to the body. Get ready for the single leg raise. Arms close to the body, palms facing down, move the shoulders down, shoulders towards the mat, push the shoulders down. Toes pointing up, chin to the chest. Inhale, stretch the right leg straight up. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale, push the heel out and let the sole face up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring the left leg down. Right leg up, not all the way, just make it a little lower down and focus on straightening the leg, pushing the front of the knee to the back of the knee. Micro bend is fine, but don't bend the knee too much when you raise the leg 90 degrees up. Push the heel out and stay there, breathe. Exhale, keep the heel pushing out and bring the leg down. Left leg up, inhale, not all the way, just a little down and straighten the knees. Pull the toes in. That's very good. Exhale, bring the left leg down. Now take the right leg up, inhale. And hold the back of the right thigh with both your hands. Bring the knee closer to the, uh, bring the leg closer to the body. On the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up, and walk the hands towards the ankle, if possible. Do not bend the knee. Wherever you hold, you should be fine, provided the knee is straight and you're not struggling with the breath. Keep both the legs nicely, equally active. Push the left thigh down and keep all 10 toes to pointing towards the head. Shoulders away from the ears, keep the elbows bent and breathe deeply, breathe slowly. Now we plan to move the right leg to the right side. So depending on your practice, you may hold the right toe with your right hand or you may hold the right thigh from inside with your right hand. Place the head and chest down. On the exhalation, bring the right leg to the right side of the body. Turn the head either to the left or keep it in the center. Now, the job is, your job is to push the left body down towards the floor and keep the right knee straight. So wherever you hold the right leg, you keep the knee straight and left body pushing down. Working on the hip joint, which releases the back pain. So everybody should do it. Whether you have back pain or not, it increases the flexibility of your hip joint. Slowly, inhale, raise the leg up and interchange your arms position. Right arm stretching out, hold the right toe with your left hand on the exhalation or you may hold the thigh. On the exhalation, bring the left right leg to the left side. Turn the head to the right. Press the right shoulder completely on the mat. Relax the neck muscles. And keep the right knee absolutely straight. So you're holding either the right big toe with your left hand or you're holding the thigh, back of the thigh and pulling the leg closer. Now release the toe hold without making any other change to the body. Just keep, bend the right knee and let the body relax how it wants to. 
no pushing and pulling do not apply any force with your hand to bring the knee down just let go focus on the breath always throughout the practice now as you inhale keeping the knee bent just come up and hug the knee to the chest as you exhale bring it close to the chest contract the abdomen and press the back now keep the arms in line with the shoulders uh, sorry body and get the leg up as you inhale exhale bring the right leg to the floor let's do it for the left side raise the left leg up as you inhale hold the back of the thigh with both your hands and bring the leg closer now on the exhalation raise the head up chest up and come up keep the hands to a comfortable level for toes pointing up heels pushed out relax the body completely and focus on deep breathing now adjust your hands to move the left leg to the left either hold the left big toe with your left hand or hold the left thigh with your left hand and place the head down chest down stretch the right arm in line with the right shoulder on the exhalation bring the left leg to the left side of the body keep the head in the center or turn it to the right and press the right vertebrae on the mat focus on the hip joint keep the breath deep and active keep the left knee straight wherever you hold now as you inhale raise the left leg up and interchange the position of your arms hands on the exhalation bring the left leg to the right side of your body and this time turn the head to the left side focus on pushing the left shoulder completely to the mat and keep the left knee straight relax the body breathe deeply breathe slowly now release the toe hold and bend the left knee stay there and relax no work to the body just let go keeping the knee bent please come up as you inhale come back to the center and hug the knee to the chest as you exhale now place the arms by the side of the body inhale raise the left leg up push the heel out in on the exhalation bring the leg down with control get ready for the double leg raises adjust your arms position if the back is not good please bring the arms under the body hands reach at the buttocks or you may place the arms close to the body tuck the hands under the head or stretch the arms over the head just be comfortable inhale raise the legs up keep the lower back down knees is straight you need not bring the legs all the way up if the knees bend push the heels out exhale bring the legs down close to the mat inhale come up second time we do it six times exhale bring the legs down third time up inhale exhale down four up inhale exhale down six up inhale exhale down and let's do one more time inhale hold here breathe you can hold the back of the thighs now separate the legs apart hold the thighs from inside and move the legs apart more lower back is on the mat chin is towards the chest bend the knees for the happy baby pose ananda balasan hold the soles from inside knees push down with lower back resting on the mat and make your shins perpendicular to the floor so mahesh you need to spread in the shins up correct more up 
That's better. And bring the chin to, to the chest. Everybody doing a great job. It works very well on the back. Hold it here. Keep pushing the knees down. Now join the soles together and slide your hands from inside the legs to hold the toes. And pull the feet closer towards the body on the exhalation. Raise the head up just up <clears throat> and come up. More the knees move away from each other, more the feet come closer to the head. Hold for a few breaths and breathe. Slowly place the head down, chest down, and bring the knees to the chest. Now as you inhale, raise the legs up, arms close to the body, exhale, bring the legs down with control. Relax in Shavasana and turn the head side to side. Take a breather. Bring your legs together, interlock the fingers, stretch your arms up, giving a good stretch to the body gently. Bend the knees and turn over to one side. Sit up, relax into the child's pose, Shishankasana, preparing mentally and physically for the practice of Shishas in the headstand. And please sit up. <clears throat> Let's get ready for the practice. Sitting up on the heels. Hold the opposite elbows. Place the forearms close to the knees, ahead of the knees, and stretch your arms forward, interlock the fingers. Now lift the buttocks up, place the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, straighten the knees off the mat, and walk forward. So a few of you would like to stay here. Do not worry, just be there and get maximum benefits which you get in the headstand. Those who are ready, bend the knees one by one or together to the chest. And then move the knees up slowly. It's changing the center of gravity of the body. So don't be in a rush. When you're ready, straighten the legs up. If you do it hurriedly, you tend to topple down and you don't get a head, steady headstand. So move always slowly up to get a good head stand. Once you are up, keep the abdomen pulled in towards the back and do not put too much pressure on the neck of the head. Distribute the body weight on the tripod. Tripod which is formed with elbows, forearms and the hands. Watch your legs. If any part of your leg is tightened, <coughs> just let go. Let the blood flow towards the heart. Draining out stagnant blood from the legs. Hold and breathe. Just a few more breaths. Now to release the posture, move out slowly, bend the knees and bring the knees to the chest. 
and slowly bring the feet down, relax in the child's pose. Please sit up and take rest in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Turn the head side to side. Relax. <clears throat> Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up, stretch the body. Release the stretch now and get ready for the shoulder stand practice, Sarvangasana. Arms close to the body, shoulders away from the ears. Feet together, toes pointing up, chin towards the chest. As you inhale, raise the legs up and exhale, swing the trunk up, support the back into the shoulder stand, Sarvangasana. Now adjust the body, you may like to bend the knees to the forehead. Adjust the shoulders and shoulder blades in a way that you can move the elbows a little closer and walk the hands towards the middle back. When you're ready, raise the legs up again. And if the neck feels fine this morning, try to shift the entire body weight to the shoulders. Shoulders stand, standing up on the shoulders. And this is a posture which works on each part of the body. Sarv, Am, Asana. Watch your legs. Relax the toes, the soles, the heels, the ankles. Don't tense the shins and the calves. Relax the knees, the thighs, the buttocks. Push the buttocks a little more towards the head and align the body, the heels, the buttocks and the shoulders. Close the eyes wherever you are, whatever you achieve this morning. Just be happy and still the body. Every day the practice is different because the state of mind is different and there are many other conditions which work towards a good practice, the sleep and all other conditions at home or work. Just a few more breaths. Now lengthen up as you inhale, walk your hands more down towards the middle back. And as you exhale, slowly with control, bring the right leg over the head. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, the left leg down over the head. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, the right leg down over the head. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, the left leg down. Inhale, the left leg up. Adjust the body for halasan. If you need to adjust the hands, do that. Lift the buttocks more up. Shift the body weight towards the shoulders completely. And on the exhalation, very slowly, gently, bring the legs over the head. If the toes touch the floor, please release the arms on the mat. And if possible, interlock the fingers and pull the arms away from the body to release the neck from pressure. Keep the knees away from the forehead. Tailbone lifted up. Breathe deeply into the abdomen. Halas in the plow toes. 
feel a good stretch from heels to the buttocks, tailbone, and from tailbone to the neck. The entire body stretching, working deeply on the internal organs in the abdomen. Stretching the hamstrings. By holding the posture, we are improving the flexibility of the spine. Now, time to release. Place the arms down. Lift the feet off the floor. Use your arms as brakes without lifting the head up one vertebra at a time. Come down very slowly and with control, bring the legs down. Relax in Shavasana, turn the head side to side. Now get ready for Asita Vandasana. Bend the knees and hold your ankles. Move the shoulders away from the ears. If you're not able to hold the hand, uh, ankles with your hands, you need to push the shoulders more down. Now as you inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up. Come up high as much as you can. The entire series works on the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. Once again, feel that pressure, that contraction, that constriction in the throat. So lift the chest, buttocks more up, to bring the chest more up. And keep your uh, knees and the thighs squeezing closer. Keep breathing. Slowly, exhale, come down. Get ready for Chakrasan. If you're not doing Chakrasan, please do this posture again. Hands under the shoulders, fingers turned inwards. As you inhale, lift the buttocks up and press the hands to come up with your chest and the head. That's very good. Hold the posture. Keep breathing. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly come down. Bring the knees to the chest, hug the knees tightly. Now hold the knees and give a gentle rotation to the knees clockwise three times, anti-clockwise three times. That relaxes the back. And now on the exhalation, raise the head up, chest up, and come up into Bhavan Muktasan. Lower back pressing down, contract the abdomen and bring the knees closer to the chest. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Stretch the chin, nose, or the forehead towards the knees and breathe. Slowly as you exhale, place the head and chest down, arms close to the body, inhale, raise the legs up and with control exhale, bring the legs down. Let's give a counter stretch to the body with Matsyas in the fish pose. Slide the arms under the body. So initial preparation for this posture is very, very important. Bring the arms closely in to have a good posture. Elbows are as close together as possible and stretch the hands down towards the heels. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up and come up on the elbows, look to the toes. As you exhale, arch your back, lift the chest up and bring the top of the head to gently touch the mat. That's very good. Keep pressing on the elbows. Just as expanded. So breathe very consciously. Stretching each of your inhalations and the exhalations. Now as you inhale, raise the head up, chest up and come up on the arms, look to the toes. Exhale, please come down. Bring the arms out. Make fist and rotate the wrist with your arms straight, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Gently turn the head side to side. Take rest in Shavasana. And then bend the knees, join the soles together. Let's relax in our favorite posture, Supta Bhadkonasana. Don't tense the body for any reason. Adjust the feet where you are comfortable. 
allow the inner thighs to open to, so that the knees can come down closer and focus on deep breathing, active breathing. <clears throat> Gently bring the knees together. You may use your hands or you may just bring the knees together and stretch the legs forward. Interlock the fingers, stretch your arms over the head, giving a nice stretch to the body. Slowly release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side and please sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly and clap the knees. Hold the toes, sit up straight from the lower back. Now, uh, stretch both your legs forward and separate the legs apart comfortably. Don't need to do too much, just be comfortable. Stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale, as you exhale, twist your body to the right. Hold the right toes with your left hand and stretch the, the right arm away from the body. Look to the right hand. Keep the chest and head lifted up and arms in one straight line if possible. Now you stretch your arm in line with the shoulder, the back arm, yes. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. I'm stretching in line with the shoulders. The shoulders. As you exhale, twist your body to the left. Hold the left toes with your right hand <clears throat> and stretch the left arm away from the body, looking to the left. Keep the chest open, head lifted up, no tension in the neck. Inhale, come back to the center and exhale, release your arms. Let's now do. Agni Stambhasan before we do the sitting forward bend. So remember, we are not sitting in half lotus or Artha Padmasan. Bend the right knee and please use the length of the mat. Bend the right knee and make your right shin parallel to the front edge of the mat. Then bend the left knee and bring the left foot right on top of the right knee. Okay, so you're not moving the left foot towards the groin. The left foot is right on top of the left right knee. And now your job is to push the left knee down on top of the right ankle. Raise your arms up, inhale. As you exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Place the hands down and just be comfortable where the body is ready for. Working so strongly and deeply on the hip joint. Whatever little you do, you are improving the flexibility of your hip joint. So don't get scared. Do little, but do it. Inhale, slowly come up. And release your arms. Exhale, change the legs. Interchange your position of the legs. Place the right foot on top of the left knee. And the right knee will reach on top of the left ankle. Stretch your arms up and come down. You may just place the hands down. You need not come all the way if the body is not alive. But the leg position is very important to work on the hip joint. Stretch forward, inhale, come up. And exhale, release the arms. Now prepare for the Pashimottanasana. Stretch both your legs forward, place the hands by the side of the hip and lift your body up, push the knees down, pull the toes in. As you inhale, raise the arms up along the ears, lengthen up more, pull up more 
on the exhalation very slowly. Stretch forward and stretch down. <clears throat> hold the toes, hold the outer edges of the feet or place the hands wherever your body is aligned. Release the roundness of the back. Keep the chest open. And if the body is too high above the legs, don't put the head down. Stretch the chin forward. And if the body is resting on the legs, you may put the head also down. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Elbows bent. Stretching from the lower back as you inhale. As you exhale, contract the abdomen completely and allow the body to come down. Remember not to stretch from the upper back. Stretch from the lower back. Now, as you inhale, stretch your body forward and stretch up. Exhale, place the hands behind, fingers away from the body. Place the head back, toes forward. Inhale, lift the buttocks up and come up into the inclined plane, giving a counter stretch to the body. Move the toes down. Don't let the feet move to the sides. Stay up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, and slowly come down. Relax on the abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands. Place the head on the hands and turn the head to the right. Matsi Kridasan pose. Bend the right knee up and bring it closer to the shoulder or the elbow. Take a few deep and slow breaths. Charging the body, relaxing the body. Get ready for the Bhujangasana. Stretch the leg back, both the legs together. Tuck the elbows close to the chest. Elbows pointing up, hands under the shoulders. Pour it down. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up and come up. Come up just to a comfortable level. Don't come up too high. Shoulders are away from the ears. Elbows are close to the chest. Watch your posture. Close your eyes and breathe. Slowly as you exhale, place the head and chest down. Move the hands near the waist and separate the legs apart for uh, full cobra. So we'll do just the preparation of the full cobra. Inhale, head up, chest up, come up. Abdomen up, elbow straight, drop the head back and push the pelvis down. Stay there and breathe. And now for the three Kubujangasan, keep the head neutral. Inhale, on the exhalation, twist your waist to the right and look to the left heel. So the back twists in that order, the lower back, middle and the upper back and then the head. Inhale, come back to the center and exhale, twist your body to the left, look to the right heel. Inhale, come back to the center. Once again, drop the head back and push your pelvis down. Inhale and slowly exhale, come down. Take rest, turn the head to the left <coughs> and bend the left knee up, relax. Focus on the breath.
get ready for uh, shalabhasan both the legs back tuck your arms under the body you may interlock the fingers make fist of the hands or place the hands down and stretch the chin forward your elbow should be nicely closely in inhale raise the right leg up do not tilt the buttocks exhale down left leg up inhale exhale down right leg up inhale exhale down left leg up inhale exhale down one more time right leg up inhale support the right thigh with your left foot hold the position and breathe keep the right leg to the right side of the body and work on the back shift the body weight towards the chin feel the lightness in the back slowly release the support and exhale bring the right leg down adjust your arms more in left leg up inhale support the left thigh with your right foot breathe here and slowly release the support bring the leg down stay here for two breaths mentally visualize yourself and shalabhas in the locust pose you need to gather all your energy into your arms inhale exhale inhale exhale now get ready inhale raise both the legs up and come up into the locust that's very good keep the knees straight where you are hold for 8 7 higher up 5 4 3 just a final lift come up higher and slowly exhale come down bring your arms out stretch your arms forward relax in advasan focus on the breath get ready for the nurasan the bow pose bend the knees and hold your ankles as you inhale raise the knees up thighs up head up chest up and come up stretch the chin up keep the eyes closed face relaxed and keep lifting the body up on the soft part of the abdomen stay up 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Place the hands under the shoulders. Come up on the knees and the hands for Marjriyasan. Inhale, arch the back, stretch the chin forward, and push the hip back. Exhale, round the back, bring the chin in, tuck the abdomen, hold the breath outside. inhale stretch arch the back and look up hip back exhale round the back bring the chin in abdomen in hold it here don't breathe and come back to the neutral position as you inhale stretch back into the child's pose wide angle child's pose knees apart sit between the heels big toes touching bring the chest down arms extending forward forward chin down wider the knees more you can open the spine each body bring the spinal column more the chest comes down more work on the hip joint
Mm, slowly, gently draw yourself back up. Join the knees together. We're getting ready for the Gomukhasana. So you have an option. Keep sitting in Vajrasana just as you see now on screen. Or you can change your sitting position. So move the body down, lower the body down to the right side. And bring the left knee on top of the right knee. Bring the feet, the top of the feet on the mat. So knees are one on top of the other. Move your body in that way. If it's not possible, do it in Vajrasana. It's not a problem. Now raise the right arm up. Inhale. Exhale, bend the right elbow. And from behind, bring the left hand to catch hold of the hands. Or just keep trying. If you have a... Uh, Towel, you can hold the edges of the towel and do the posture. Keep the back straight, chin parallel to the mat, just open, and the right elbow should be pointing up, not forward. Now, without leaving the hands, stretch forward as you exhale and come down as much as possible. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, release the arms. Now sit up on the heels again and lower the body to the left side. Bring the right knee on top of the left knee. And move the heel out from under the right buttock. Top of the feet should be on the mat. Sit up straight, don't lean to one side. Now raise the left arm up as you inhale. Exhale, bend the left elbow. And from behind, bring the right hand to either catch hold of the hands or just try. Keep trying. Hold a kerchief, hold the edges of the kerchief and handkerchief and do the posture. That's very good. Chin parallel to the mat, face relaxed. Center the body. And slowly release the posture. Release the sitting. Okay, I'm so sorry. Stretch forward as you exhale and come down. And slowly come up. Release the hands, release the posture, sit up on the heels. Cup your hands, place the cupped hands on the shoulders and give a gentle rotation to the shoulder blades three times clockwise. Go slow three times anti-clockwise. And now prepare yourself for sit, uh, spinal twist, half spinal twist, lower down to the right side, bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind near the tailbone, stretch the right arm up, inhale. As you exhale, twist your body to the left and push the outside of the left knee with your upper right arm. Hold the ankle if you can reach to the ankle or just keep pushing the knee inwards with your elbow. Turn the head to the left shoulder. Mahesh, it looks like you need to change your arms. Breathe here, keep the back straight, both the sitting bones on the mat. Chest opens. Shoulders in one line. If the right shoulder is hunched, please move the left foot a little more forward. And do not put any weight on the left hand. Inhale, stretch the right arm up. And exhale, bring it down. Change the side, sit to the left side of the body and bring the right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand behind, stretch the left arm up, inhale. As you exhale, twist to the right, push the outside of the right knee with your upper left arm to hold the ankle. Look to the right shoulder. Close the eyes. Settle down for a few breaths.
Now, as you inhale, stretch the left arm up and exhale, bring it down. Hug the knees to the chest. Inhale, sit up straight, stretch the chin up with your mouth closed. As you exhale, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, gently. Turn the head to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn the head to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, lower the head down towards the right shoulder. Inhale, center. And exhale towards the left. Inhale, center. Release the posture and please get ready for the grow. Kakasan, come up into the squat. Make a rough square with your hands and the feet. Turn the hands slightly in to have a good posture, uh, good balance. And rest the knees on the upper arms. Look at a point in front, shift the body weight forward towards the hands so that the feet can lift up. Just be firm and strong in the mind. Don't look down. Look at that point which you've chosen. If you think you're done enough, you can release or just keep holding. Always try to increase the time of holding. If you did 10 seconds last time, make it 15 this time. Standing up for standing forward bend. Feet together. Inhale, raise the arms up along the ears. As you exhale, stretch the body forward. And please come down. Hold the ankles, hold the back of the thighs. Keep the knees straight where we hold. And consciously watch your shoulders. Relax the, relax the shoulders by bending the elbows. Bring the chest close to the thighs, contract the abdomen as you exhale. And let the top of the head reach down to the feet. Keep the toes open, separate the toes so that the space between the toes gets to breathe. Now to release, dangle the arms loose, soften the knees, keep the chin tucked in, one vertebra at a time, come up. Let's keep a counter stretch, separate the legs apart, support the back, drop the head back and push the buttocks forward. Look up, breathe here. <clears throat> Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arms down. Get ready for three cone asal. Legs apart, three to four feet. Feet pointing forward. Turn the right foot to the right side now. Left foot slightly in. Watch your buttocks. They should facing forward. Inhale, stretch the left arm up. Exhale, bend down to the right side. Look in front or look up. Keep pushing the right buttock a little forward so that you do not twist the body. Keep breathing. And now, if possible, join the hands in the prayer position. In the same position, do not disturb the body. That's very good, slowly. Release the left, right hand and please come up, inhale. Exhale, bring the arm down. Change the side, feet pointing forward, turn the left foot out and the right foot slightly in. Raise the right arm up as you inhale. Lengthen the body. Exhale, bend down to the left side. Push your left vertical a little forward. Adjust your neck. Feel no tension in the neck. Keep the right arm a little behind the right ear. And now join the palms in prayer. Now slowly release the left arm. Inhale, come up. And exhale, bring the right arm down. Join the legs together. Come to the front of the mat. You may cover yourself. 
to be warm during Shavasana and sit down, take rest on the mat for fun and relaxation. Slow down the breath. Now to tense the body parts, raise the right leg two inches up, tense the right leg, tense and drop it down. Lift leg two inches up, tense the leg, tense the leg and drop. Now raise both the legs up, tense the legs, tense and drop. Squeeze the buttocks, lift them tightly up off the mat, and release down. Contract the abdomen, press the lower back down to the mat. Release. Lift the chest up, 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 and drop. Lift the arms two inches up, clench your fingers tight, tight, tight. Open the fingers and tense your arms, tense, tense, and release down. Squeeze the shoulders to the ears and push the shoulders down. Gently turn the head to the right. And turn the head to the left. Back to the center. Now tense all the facial muscles to the nose. Tight, tight, tight and release. Open the mouth, stretch the tongue out. Open the eyes wide, look to the forehead. Stretch all the facial muscles, stretch, stretch, release. Close the mouth. Now adjust your body for final relaxation. For the next three to four minutes, we'll completely still the body. So once again, see where you're holding tension, let go completely. Legs apart comfortably, arms six to eight inches away from the body with palms turned up and shoulders away from the ears, chin close to the chest. Mental relax the toes, the soles, the heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the hip joint. The legs are completely relaxed. Relax the abdomen. Relax the chest. Bring the awareness to the back. Relaxing the lower back, the middle back, the upper back, relax the vertebral column. The back is relaxed. Move the awareness to the arms. Relax the fingers, the palms and the wrists. Relax the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms. Relax the shoulders, the shoulder blades. The arms and the shoulders are relaxed. Relax the neck muscles, the back of the head, top of the head. Relax the forehead, 
the eyes, the nostrils, the cheekbones, relax the ears, the jaw, the tongue, and the throat. Watch the lightness in the upper body. Allow all the body weight to drop down to the mat. Feel the lightness in the body. Visualize the internal organs in the abdomen. Send the awareness to the organs for a good relaxation. Relax the lungs. Relax the whole heart. Relax the brain. The body is completely relaxed. All the systems in the body are functioning well. All the internal organs are healthy and relaxed. Become aware of the mind. Let go of the thoughts. Relax the mind. Relax. 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 Bring the hands back to the body, move the toes and the fingers. If the feet and the hands bring life back to the body, very gently turn the head side to side. Breathe more deeply and consciously, bring the legs together. Interlock your fingers, stretch the arms up over the head, the final gentle stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side. And whenever you feel ready, you may sit up for the final prayer. Oh, 
यजामहे सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धन ृत्योर्मृतामृतामृता मंगल सुखिने निरामया सर्वे पत्राणी पश्यंत मा कशुपागवे अस तो मतमया तम सोमा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मृतंगमया ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्ण पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादय पूर्णमेवशिष्य शाति 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 Thanks to the masters. Sorry, Om Tat Sir. Thank you, everybody, for your presence this morning.